Creating a Joker set. Uh, I just don't see any good Joker, sadly. I mean, I know we got Luna, and I know we got Zan. I haven't seen Zan's. Uh, I haven't seen Zan's Joker though. All right, so loser semis. We're gonna have a best of five, and we're gonna start off with the Pichu. Yeah, let's see what. Is he actually gonna lock in Pichu, or is this, is this what's going on here? Was having a friendly discussion about their previous sets. Mm. All right, there's the fist bump. It's time to go, of course. Locking in the Pichu, so we are going to have Mario versus Pichu for game one. I find a fun correlation in the Pokemon trainer with the hat turned backwards. A lot of people won't get that reference, and yeah, it's sad because Smash is a lot older than some of the people watching this right now. Oh, is that what? Is he doing the rally cap thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, because I didn't get that. Yeah, the, the Ash Ketchum. I'm pretty sure he just likes to wear his hat backwards. He I think he's done does. like that. He's worn his hat like that for a while. Anyways, Master Mario, you know, <laughs> both these players starting out pretty pretty well. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting stuck on that platform. It just, it just drags you off and you just lose neutral. It's so funny. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, not going for the grab. Just like, I'm going to charge it up, and you're going to get hit, and you're going to die because I'm Pichu, and I have hella rage. All right, so we're going to see how much extra credit we can get because Pichu loves that. He absolutely loves it. Getting hit by the back air. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I guess that Thunderbolt does cover the option of, you know, it doesn't allow him to get onto that platform there. Yeah, usually we'll see Pikachu and Pichu's use Thunder Jolt just so... Uh, as it climbs up the stage, will allow them some relief. Yep. When recovering, mm. sometimes you just get stuck on that uh, on that platform. It doesn't go anywhere, but it's still a way to cover options. It's always a good move to throw out. Okay, landing. Okay, landing like with a fastball down air and knowing just how far up he had to be, getting that jab lock. Okay, shuts like, me up for a minute. Yeah, not like they didn't go for S smash. He went trying to extend his damage even further with down tilts and then into aerial combos. Yeah, I, and you, that's probably a thing that uh, Sweet Tea learned just by playing, uh, well, for years, but also playing uh, Pokemon Trainer because Squirtle loves to extend with his own jab locks, and that's one of the ways that Squirtle gets his kills. Okay. Nicely done, nicely done. It's just like <laughs> Mario up tilt. You could be any, like, level of player, pick up Mario, get an up tilt, and get, like, 50 damage, because or up air, and just get a bunch of damage off of it. Up air just links an up air so beautifully. Okay, up smash, not quite taking it. Master Mario really just has to be patient here. I mean... Ooh, almost getting another stock with forward throw. Mm. Look at this. Uh, really fishing with that up smash. I mean, it's it's been working for the most part. Okay, barely sweet spotting that ledge. Very nice. Okay, up throw, calling down the thunder. Ooh. Trying to cape it. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, but, you know, Sweet Tea very aware and said he went up and tried to, I think it was a forward air. Uh, Mar Messa Mario was going for another up smash, and he just ended up getting, uh, getting booped. Okay, nice dash attack. Ooh, okay. That down tilt just shutting Messa Mario down. Okay, good. Ooh. I think we were trying to see a down air from Sweet Tea there. Okay, making that recovery. That's it. That should be death. That should be death. Lightest character in the game. See yep. you. Yep. Bye bye. So long, Gepichu. Took that out for sure. I wonder if we're just going to stick to the Pichu. No, I'm, I'm expecting a character switch. I am too. NC, or, uh, Sweet Tea is definitely a player who utilizes his character pool. So I'm expecting switches from him. Yeah. Yeah, when you're when you're playing against uh, like high level players, there is there is like a version of respect Ooh. that goes in. Oh, he did change. He did stick to the Pichu. Sticking with the Pichu. Very yeah. interesting. I'm sure we'll see a Pokemon trainer at some point in this set. Hmm. And this isn't too bad, I don't think, for Sweet Tea, this map, because, uh, you know, we have the speed to be able to, you know, utilize as much. Like, having more mobility 
allows you to control more stage a lot better than uh, a character who's slower than you. So this is not too bad. And now, of course, you know, Carlos has the walls, which allows Master Mario to have the wall jump. Yep. But it also allows Sweet T to use Thunder Jolts to recover because now those Thunder Jolts will climb the wall. Yep. And that's also a really, really good uh, factor with this stage. I think that's probably one of the main ones. So Mario gets something, and Pichu gets something a little better. And he also has a wall jump as well. But Pichu's got such a good recovery. Oh, okay. Yeah, stale or no stale. That, another one of those is definitely going to kill. Okay. Holding that shield until the moment where it counted. Good parry. Very good parry. That was uh, that was really clutch because the backer would have just straight up killed him. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, up smash connecting. It's nice to know that uh, Mario's up smash is able to reach that low and hit a character like Pichu. Oh, that dash attack. No, no, no. <laughs> One combo from Mario can put Pichu into death percent, especially with the rage that he's got going on right now. Almost. He's 24% uh, away from being a full rage. Dash attack connects, and now Master Mario trying to keep Sweet Tea off stage. <gasps> wow. Um... You saw that up air? That that might have extended his hurtbox and got him killed. I, I mean, he was probably dead anyway, but uh, I don't know what that was about. Well, a couple more up airs from Sweet Tea. Ooh, expecting the down air, and that's why I was just trying to get rid of that, not having any of it. Yeah, I was like, I don't want you to start equalizing things now. No, no, no. Oh, trying to get the cross up, but, you know, getting that parry. Not working out. Not working out for Master Mario. Ooh, taking that. No, not quite killing. But uh, got the wall jump. Okay, making it back. Yeah, if it wasn't for that wall, uh, he would have died for sure. Okay. Back air connect. Now Sweet Tea striking the landing. Mm. Trying to just get one F tilt or an F smash on to Master Mario. Yeah, and you know, Sweet Tea hasn't pulled out that thunder in quite some time. And I think Master Mario, it's just like there's just that point where you know, okay, I could get thunder here. Uh, Master Mario was able to drift out uh, out of the possibility of that happening. Back. Oh, no back door. Okay, sweet. Getting, oh. Yeah. Unfortunate setup from Sweet Tea was not able to con con uh, connect the Thunder into the sweet spot. Yeah. It might have been because of the DI. He's probably expecting a back throw, and he ended up uh, DIing properly. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's Mario. He's only one F tilt away, though. He's he's many moves away <laughs> from uh, dying, taking as much as he can out of this. Yeah, but he's just being so evasive, and then once his combo starts, you know they just do not stop. No, they don't. Big damage now. We're going to see good mash coming out from Sweet Tea. I mean, the damage that's getting put on him isn't too consequen consequential right at the moment. Mm. Yeah, not really. It's it just kind of like, yeah, I'm at 181. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I have another stock. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. I, I saw the dash dance, and, you know, Sweet Tea actually reacted in kind. He was like, oh, oh get, get away from me. He started to do the, the spot dodge. Yeah, he's had a shield, but us smash does connect on Master Mario. Is that going to really kill? Okay, yeah, Kalos has a high ceiling. Very high ceiling. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. This is Pichu. Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. Okay, I love that. We, I, very, very aware of these up smashes. And look at that. Mario just throwing them out. SVT. He he definitely, Master Mario definitely got what he deserved there just because SVT was so uh, cognizant of uh, the options that he's been throwing out. Yeah, trying to do the, four, or the up smash again. That's definitely not going to hit Pichu from the front. Oh, reading the DI wrong, and now Master Mario going to escape the uphill for free. Yeah, Master Mario knows that he's got to change up his options a little bit. Or maybe he won't. <laughs> maybe he's expect. Uh, maybe he's... <laughs> yeah, look at this. Is that, I don't know if that's going to kill. Yeah, it's not going to kill. Even with the rage. Oh, and a good use of flood. It's going <gasps> to... Make it. Make it. Make it back. I don't know. I think that fireball actually saved Sweet Tea. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. I just noticed uh, the pummel hurts P2 also. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. It's an electric attack. Yeah. I think that's hilarious. Oh. This is death. Mm -hmm. This is death. Yeah. Wow. You know, Master Mario's definitely breathing a sigh of relief because I think that fireball actually saved P2. I don't think it saved him. I think it was really just trying to set up for just keeping, um, keeping Sweet Tea off stage as long as possible. You know, trying to get the, the panic going. Yeah. Yeah, he was able to close it out. Woo!
sticking with the rat. Wow, so three games of Pichu for Sweet Tea. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we won't see a Pokemon trainer. Unless uh, Sweet Tea's really, really, really trying to make this all work. Okay. Man, I'm seeing a lot of parries from Sweet Tea. Good stuff for sure. Because it's a really good way to counter cross ups, you know? Uh huh. Nice, Thunderbolt. Is it Thunderbolt or Thunder Jolt? I think it's Thunder Jolt. Okay, Thunder Jolt. TJ. Unless it's uh, different for Pichu, which it very well might be. Maybe. I'll call it TJ because it sounds better than TB. All right, very nice forward air. Man. That aerial mobility is so, it's so nice to be able to have that as any character. I think in this game for sure, because it's like, it's so good to be able to chase at all times, getting that down smash, taking him out. Uh, but it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice being able to chase uh, pretty much any old percentage or, you know, wherever you are. Because like you said before, positioning matters and being able to take him and throw him out onto the uh, off stage. Pretty big deal. Yeah, well that down air does poke. The very last hit. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Not quite getting the spacing right with that back air there. But he was covering options. Like, hey, stay out of my zone. Oh, man. If Mario was taller, <laughs> if that was Luigi, he might have gotten hit by that Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. good parry, but not able to punish. Man. I'm really envious of these parries. Like, how do you do it? It's like when you're when you're Pichu, it's, it's, it's kind of risky, you know? Parries are kind of risky in and of themselves. But oh. when you're so light... Interesting, opting to go for a back throw, okay, tacking on a little bit of extra damage, but agility is going to allow Pichu to make it back to stage. Spot dodge. Yeah, Korean was calling this game uh, Super Spot Dodge Bros. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why. Oh, yeah, Spot Dodge, probably the best defensive tool at the moment. Boy, look at that. Or uh, Nair Dodge also works really well, too, against these juggle characters. Okay, hey. Trying to poke that shield. Pichu, does Pichu do a whole lot of shield damage? Because like I look at things like the up tilt and up air and things like that, it doesn't really seem like it hurts the shield that much. He's, he's much more potent when he's just doing the damage himself. I think it's more about just like crossing up your opponent and keeping them in a pressured situation. Big time, and Pichu does that very well. Look at that. Yeah, okay, I think uh, Sweet T's starting to get the download a little bit here, unless I'm jinxing it. But yeah, he, he's got to be confident if he's not pulling out the Pichu or the... Pokemon Trainer. Okay, no thunder. And because, you know, we see Master Mario throwing out the capes. Look at that. Oh, getting it with that down air. Yeah, down air connecting for taking those trades. The ah. trades going in favor of Sweet Tea at the moment. Like cross landing with the Nair is going to allow Master Mario to get back to stage. Oh, what are these approaches with back air? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, Master Mario loves to do it. He loves approaching with back air because it's so great. I mean, like he, besides getting parried, uh, it's really easy to cross up with. It's, I think it's one of the best back airs in the game. Look at this guy. Oh, like using agility going straight up. Very interesting. Hmm. thought he was going to go down into the platform. Well, if he had done that, I'm sure Master Mario would have been able to react. He would have punished it. Oh, <laughs> the Love fireball, it. stopping the skull bash. Uh, maybe. Yeah, so right. Full rage, basically. Yeah, that'll do it. Now look at this. Look at the legs coming out from Sweet Tea. Yeah. Trying to land an F tilt. Look at those little legs that Pichu's got. Uh-uh, getting that down there. Okay. Uh, it looks like Sweet Tea was trying to catch a jump there. Uh, Masamaro's not doing it. Okay, Thunder Jolt to the ledge. Ooh. There's that jump, but he was able to get nared out. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's is that set actually? Him up. Wow. Yeah, not even the rage was going to make that happen. Wow, that was so much damage, though. Now, Sweet Tea actually needs to be careful. <laughs> uh, back throw at the ledge might be enough. Yeah, seriously. Uh, Here's the back throw. Not at the ledge, though. <laughs> <gasps> oh, just trying to go for it all there, but he was still able to maintain that stage control. Oh, what are we going to see? I, I see a back air in the future. I see f tilts coming out, but we're going to see an up throw. A forward throw oh, to the end. It's up. Oh, killed. Yeah, I mean, at like 200. Yeah, man, it's going to take it out. It's going to take it out. 
That was pretty, pretty barely though. You know, if you yeah, ask me, close. man, that was very close. Yeah, man, that was pretty, pretty nasty. And thanks to everybody that is still in the chat checking this out. WNF 2.2. This is losers semis. That's right. Of course, running it right back to Pokemon Stadium. Mm. All right, man. No Pokemon trainer in sight. Look at these spot dodges. Oh my god, he's just let. This is like Masamari wasn't really doing much about it either. Okay, the Nair checking him. Okay, a couple of up airs, but gonna take a trade. More up airs, man. These up beats. But, like, I'm seeing a B happen so frequently for Master Mario. It, it just, like, up, up air just makes it work. Okay. And I, I like how Sweet Tea wasn't very overzealous for the grab. He wanted that grab a long time ago, but he waited, and he ended up getting a little bit of payoff for his patience there. Mm, making it back to the stage with the S smash not going to connect. Yeah, that man. up smash for Master Mario does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was unfortunate because Sweet Tea definitely had all the advantage in the world there. Nice forward tilt. God, his leg just becomes a rubber band when he does that forward tilt. Okay. Oh, no. Up throw into down air. Easy damage. You're going to see an up throw. You're going to chase with thunder. No. Sweet Tea has not been able to get the read on which way Master Mario is going to go. Yeah, and, uh, when you mentioned the Thunder, he's, he's been very, very conservative about that as well because uh, he can't get it caped. And I, I think it's just like one of those things is where it's kind of easy to see depending on the spacing. Still, yeah, I mean, I like it. I like it. He didn't go for the Thunder. He went for the backer instead. That was good. That was good. Master Mario, like, he's he's able to see where Master Mario is going to go because of the threat of Thunder. It's, it's one of those nice little traps. I like what I see. Oh, down tilt stuff, stuffing out the F smash from Master Mario. Oh, boy. Yeah, there we go. And eventually we are going to see a thunder. Just ooh, mark my words. We're going to see a thunder. I promise you. Oh, wow. Catching that down there. Yeah, Master Mario's not taking any crap from this man. Look at that. There we go. No real punish, but getting a lot of shield damage. Yeah, I mean, the shield poke on Pichu. Oh, boy. That might have been a shield poke right there. And now Master Mario one stock away from advancing in bracket. Sweet Tea going to have to put on some good work. Oh, uh, not quite getting that grab. I mean, Mario has an okay grab range, but Pichu's just being so tiny. Not making it a reality. Oh, okay, yeah, the up airs were not at the right place or the right time. Yeah, getting caught with that forward tilt. Ah, uh, could have punished with the back air, but you know what? We're going to take center stage. We're not too mad about that. There we go. Man. And Sweet Tea is just jumping around. I really like how he's utilizing these jumps because he's like, you know what? You're going to try to cross me up? No, no, no. I'm going to jump over you. Okay, well, Sweet Tea is trying to use Thunder Jolt into grab. But he's not able to get his hands onto Master Mario, but a couple aerials are going to put uh, Master Mario off stage. Look at this. Nice forward tilt. Yeah, he was telegraphing. He's like, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ah, he got caught by it. All right, getting hit by the Nair. And in Sweet Tea, you know, really playing like he doesn't just have one stock right now. He's actually playing pretty solidly right now. And that was the first time he went for that forward air. That was a nice little option option select. Yeah, this good option from the ledge. Very offensive. Oh, oh my god, what are you oh. running in so with your shield so low? It's crazy. He punished him. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. No thunder from Sweet Tea. That was uh, that was good stuff anyway. You know, he, he stuck. He stuck to his guns. He was able to take a game out. Man, <laughs> I don't know if Master Mario, if that was a stressful eye roll. That's tough, man. Pichu is, uh, Pichu is difficult. Because, like, the way Sweet Tea 